Okay, here's our fish bake in the roasting pan. Came out. We've got the large pieces of the catfish in here. See that nice big large piece of fish. And this was just olive oil, a bit of water, a lot of vegetables, tomatoes, carrots, celery, onions, potatoes, um, cilantro, dill, baked in the oven, 350 for about an hour and a half. And now we're just eating it like, you know, like a soup and, uh, or stew or bake, whichever you want to say. And then um, from the head of that fish, we are making our fish stock and we'll make our fish head soup. Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you how to make fish head stew. Um, being on Cyprus, people fish a lot. And when they have things like the heads left over, they make stock from it and fish head stew, or fish head soup, either one. And um, so in the oven actually right now, we have um, a huge fish bake. That's going on, I'll show you when it comes out of the oven. So when we're finished with making that though, we have the remnants of the fish. So uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but that's a big catfish head. So um, my husband, who's Egyptian, which Egypt is near Cyprus, it was always fishing and um, is now fishing here. And we have a freshwater lake and there's catfish. And then I think this is bass, see the stripes on it. So these are the um, remnants of those fish that are in the bake in the oven. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the fish stock first. So um, as you can see, we have some of the um, celery bits left over from the fish bake. And we're gonna make the stock with all of these parts. So we're gonna first put in this piece of fish, which is already been filleted. The meat was taken out. So this is just the skin and the end. And that's one piece. Um, so we have some more of these. This is a huge bone section of the catfish, which was rather large. Uh, it was at least six pounds. So here you can see the fillet was taken off. And this is the the inside and the tail. So we're gonna use that up as well. And um, there's another piece of the fish. The bones. Um, I'm gonna add the celery. That's... So all these pieces of the fish are gonna go in. Very fresh fish, just caught. And when you live on an island like Cyprus, you can fish, get fresh fish all the time. Uh, in New York City, you can get fresh fish most of the time in Chinatown. That's where I always used to go when I lived in Manhattan. I went to Chinatown. Uh, I'm trying to get everything out of here to then show you the giant catfish head so you can see how horrible. It's actually quite scary looking. Um, it's a beast. And uh, you can only imagine how big the fish was if that's the size of the head. All right, so there you can see the eyes. And you see the catfish has sort of like little whiskers. And it's actually quite scary. Um, but anyhow, this is the head. All right, you see this guy? Look how big that guy is. All right, so anyhow, he was cleaned out. You see, that's his mouth. All right, oh, it's so scary. <laughs> Anyhow, that going in the pot. <laughs> okay, so, oh, it was really scary. All right, now this was stuff for my compost bin, but you know what? I can put in the fish, the onion skins into the stock, and that'll give us some really good flavor. And so I've got red onion, and yeah, you do put the skins in. That's actually, the French do that all the time. They put in the skins. Um, so we're gonna add those. And then what I'll do is I'll cover all of that with water and we will bring it to a boil and then um, strain off anything. These are potato skins, we're not putting those in. Those are gonna go in the compost heap. Um, so now I'm gonna add a lot of water and cover it and bring it to a boil. So one minute. All right, so I'm also gonna add some these are the insides of the celery with these leaves that has a lot of flavor. So we're gonna put the, that into our stock 
All right, and then I have one carrot cut up. We'll add that as well. And I've already got some water in here. We want enough water, so I'm gonna add, it's about eight cups of water. All right, and we're gonna cover this and bring it to a boil and simmer for probably an hour, all right? So I'm gonna put it on high heat, bring it to a boil, and then lower the heat. All right, so I'll show you what it looks like later. Bye. Our soup is coming to a boil, so I'm gonna add the, the fish. That was a lot, but now I'm gonna add, this is a half cup of couscous. I'm gonna add that and let that cook for a while. And then at the very end, we'll add our dill and cilantro, and hopefully this will taste absolutely delicious. So that's gonna take a while to cook, at least an hour. So I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for a while. Okay, so here's our fish stock after simmering for about almost two hours. And what I need to do now is strain off all of this um, excess that we're not gonna recook. This has already been cooked, so we're getting it. I have the strainer in here in a bowl. We wanna get the stock separated from all of this stuff. So what we need to do is we need to strain out the vegetables and remove the fish head. And then we have to take all the fish meat off of the head that giant beast. So I'm just ladling this into the strainer to remove all of these things. Um, <clears throat> since I am doing this on camera, I'm using a spoon to help me do this. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, if I wasn't holding a camera in one hand, I could just pour it into the strainer and do it that way. But I just wanted to show you you know, quickly a couple shots of removing the um, <clears throat> the vegetables from our stock. Uh, and this is the broth stock, broth. This is the fish stock that we're gonna use then for the base for our soup. So what we'll need to do is after I removed all of the bits from here, is that um, we'll separate the fish meat from whatever carcass, skin, cartilage, is left, let's put that aside. Then we'll strain off the fish stock. So whatever we have then in our bowl will be our fish stock. We will saute onions, carrots, celery, again in here. Then we'll return the broth to the pot and we will add the fish meat to it. We will simmer it again uh, bring it to a boil and then simmer for probably another hour. And at the end, I will add the cilantro and the dill. And then we will have a beautiful fish soup. All right, so this is gonna obviously take quite a while to do. So I'm gonna have to pause and bring you back to the next spot. So again, though, that giant piece, that's the, that's the fish head, that scary beast. So, I don't want to scare you anymore. I'm scared myself. I don't know. I think I'll have to make my husband take the fish meat off of that head. It was scary looking. It was like a prehistoric beast. All right. So, anyhow, uh, I'll see you in a little while. Bye bye. All right. So, our pot's been cleaned out. Here is our broth strained. And now I have some olive oil. I'm and I helped heat. to make it. I helped to make it. Yes. Thank you. I, and I got it. Okay, so the olive oil is in the pan, and now we're going to add the onions. And I had already done that ahead of time, so they've already been chopped. Do you want me to dump it? Yep, you're going to pour it in. Add all of them in, and you hear the pan is nice and hot. Great. Okay. I'll put it here. And now we're going to stir this around. Okay, you want to stir? Okay. Thank you. All right, so now our onions are getting a little golden brown on the edge. 
And so we're going to add our carrots. And again, these were already done ahead of time, so I stored them in the refrigerator. And we're going to dump those in. They were peeled and, di and diced. Great. So now we stir those around too. Okay. You're making soup or stew. And we're going to cook that for a couple of minutes. We want the carrots get soft, and then we can add the celery. All right, so now our carrots have been in there and they're softened. We're adding in our cut celery. Well, try not to get it all over the counter and in the stove. So we're going to stir that in and saute those as well. And then we're going to add some aromatics. So what do we have here? Do you guys remember? What is this? Add two pieces. You know what they're called? No, bay leaves. We're gonna add those, and then I have this blend. Oops, sorry. Well, I just this... got my shirt wet. Okay, just a second, honey. I'll help you in a minute. This is a soup blend, and it has juniper berries, cardamom seeds, actually cinnamon stick. Why is there a cinnamon stick? To give it flavor. Oh. So um, now I don't like all these little balls of things in there. You have coriander. And um, so, unfortunately, I don't have any cheesecloth. Otherwise, I'd put it in the cheesecloth to um, so you can remove it. So, all right, go ahead. You can add the bay leaves. Put the okay. bay leaves in. Don't break them up. Oh. Just put it in whole because you don't eat that. You take that out at the end, all right? So here's our um, soup blend. And remember, I, I don't have cheese cloth to put the spices in because I don't want them in the actual finished soup. So I have this. This is a tea. This is a tea strainer. And so I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to get a whole bunch of these spices in here. And what I can do is then put it in to the broth while it's cooking and then remove it. And I won't get all of those beads and bits. Sorry, not beads. Yeah, well, juniper berries, seeds, etc. in the, the actual finished soup because they're really not that great to taste. So I'm gonna, um, there's a hair stuck there. So I gotta take that out too. Anyhow, I need two hands, I'll come back. All right, so now we're making this fish soup and uh, I've got our onions, actually red onions, carrots, celery, we've got the bay leaves in. I have our spices in here, the cinnamon stick, cardamom, juniper berries, coriander, and, um, then we're gonna add that. We've got our broth Hello. here. And I was like, hey, hey. Chef, can I help you? Sure, come on in now. Okay. What else should we put in here? So, unfortunately, Mommy, we didn't really get too much fish meat off of all those bones. So, um, we need to make this a little more substantial. So, I was looking through the pantry and seeing what we have. And I had basmati rice, I've had beans, I have couscous, and so I thought fish is a much more delicate flavor. I'm than, sorry. That's okay, like a chicken soup or a beef stock. So couscous is actually a pasta. It is small, tiny pasta. So this is more delicate, has more delicate flavor, and this would be really nice. So we're gonna make our soup more substantial by adding the couscous. Um, if I had some lentils, I'd add lentils too, but I just don't see any. I usually have red lentils in the pantry, but I don't see them right now. So when you're at home and you're trying to figure out how to make your, um, you can stir, sure, go right ahead, you stir that. How to do stuff. Look what you have in your pantry and figure out what would go best with what you're making. I've added our fish broth and we'll stir that around. We're gonna bring it to a boil right here. Are all of those spices that can go, I'm just gonna dump that in, that'll stay in there. And then I'll remove it before I serve. And when it comes to a boil, then I'm gonna add a quarter cup or a half cup of the couscous, probably a quarter cup. So, um, we have to wait a while. Um, come bring it to a boil and I'll show you what it looks like later. Here's our fish soup boiling away. We have couscous in it and then I took out the strainer with the um, spices in it and now we're going to finish it off by adding in the fresh cilantro and then it'll be ready to serve.